guys what's up and today we are going to go over finding the rate or the base and the increase or decrease of an item in value so an item valued at 150 dollars rises to 200 dollars what is the rate of increase so in this case we're just asking for the percent increase if you're not familiar with the term rate of increase we have a video where we discuss these terms in detail so anyways back to the question so an item costing $150, so $150 would be 100%. This would be the base. Now it goes to $200. Now what was the rate of increase? So we could just use a formula to do this, but I just like to do it in a bit more of a thinking way. So we're going to use a number to percent table. So number to percent. If $150 is 100%, then $200 is what? So 200 well, we can just... You know, my thing was on the eraser. Okay, so we can just divide both sides by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. Now we get 33.3 .3 with a line on top. So the 3s are just going on forever. That's what this means is 50. Now if we times by 4, we get 130. Wait, right? Yeah, 133.3% increase. So this is 133.3% increase. So the rate of increase was... 133.3%. Now our next question is, a car depreciates, so this just means decreases, this means decreases, in value by 20% and is now worth $40,000. What is the car's original price? So in this case, we're asking for the base. If you're not familiar with these terms again, I have a video where I explain them in detail. Uh, so if it depreciates in value by 20%, then we have, so now it has 80% of its value. Its retained value is 80% and it's worth $40,000. So uh, this would be a dollar to percent or a number to percent, number, number to percent table again. We're going to do the same style. Now, what is its original price? So our base value, once again, is always 100%. Again, if you're not familiar with these terms, I have a video where I cover these uh, terms like base and rate, these all of these percent terms. So anyways, we divide by 4, 20% would be 10,000. And then times by 5, 100% is $50,000. So the car's original price, OP, equals dollars $50,000. So we can see that the car is depreciated in value quite significantly. $10,000 decrease. An antique increases in value by 40% and now costs $900. What is the antique's original price? So once again, we're asking for, in this case, this would be the base, which is 100%. So if an antique increases in value by 40%, if it's at 140% value, would be $900. Once again, we're going to use this number to percent table. You could also use a formula, though or do it in a different, more algebraic way, that works too. I'm just doing this way because I feel like this method isn't used often enough. So we divide both sides by 7, 20%. 900 over 7 is this. Let me just say, divide by 7 is this. I'll explain what this is in one second. Um, so this is just approximately 128.6. And now we times by 5, times by 5. And this is um, approximately 642.83, and this is 100%. So the original price was equal to approximately $642.83. Anyways, I hope that you found this video helpful, and I hope that you enjoyed. And just one more note, we have our next video is on um, markups and markdowns, which is very similar to this, but just with uh, more financial terms, so I strongly encourage that you watch that one next as well. Anyways, thank you for listening and goodbye.